Which of the following statements is true? A. It is okay for drivers of other vehicles to follow motorcycles closely. B. A motorcycle with two people on it is more balanced than a motorcycle with just one rider. C. The driver of a passenger vehicle must change lanes completely when passing a motorcycle. D. Drivers of other vehicles can expect a motorcycle's brake lights to turn on when the motorcyclist slows down. C. The driver of a passenger vehicle must change lanes completely when passing a motorcycle. Motorcycles are entitled to the width of a full lane. Be sure your vehicle is entirely in the left lane before attempting to pass a motorcycle on the left. Before passing another vehicle, you should signal. A. Just before changing lanes. B. At any time. C. After changing lanes. D. Early enough for others to know your plans. D. Early enough for others to know your plans. Before passing, you should signal early enough for other drivers to know your plans in advance. The presence of double solid yellow lines means you may pass another vehicle from either direction. A. True. B. False. B. False. A double solid yellow line means that it is prohibited for vehicles traveling in either direction to cross the center line to pass. This sign shows one type of a. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. D. Road curve. B. Intersection. This sign indicates that AT intersection is ahead. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Which of the following statements is true? A. A sudden change in weather calls for a change in driving. B. You should slow down when driving in rain and fog. C. Be particularly aware of vehicles coming up behind you in inclement weather. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If the weather changes suddenly, you will need to adjust your driving to adapt. Always slow down when driving in rainy or foggy conditions. Be especially aware of vehicles behind you that may be going too fast for conditions. A driver entering public traffic from a driveway or private road. A. Has the right of way. B. Should yield to drivers already on the public road. C. May force their way into traffic. D. Can assume that other drivers will change lanes to make room. B. Should yield to drivers already on the public road. If you are entering traffic from a driveway or private road, you should yield to drivers already on the public road. Merge safely into traffic when you are able to do so. Airbags give you full protection during a crash. A. True. B. False. B. False. An airbag is a supplemental restraint system. Airbags are intended to work with seat belts to prevent injuries. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by A. Turning on your car radio. B. Slowing down. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. D. Moving your eyes from side to side as you drive. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. To prevent drowsiness on long trips, you should schedule regular stops. Give yourself time to rest and stretch, even if you are not feeling tired.
This sign means A. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. B. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. C. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Decrease your speed as you approach an intersection with a yield sign. Prepare to stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection or crossroad. You must come to a full stop at a yield sign if traffic conditions require it. When stopped for a traffic violation or at an equipment check, the driver must produce a proof of insurance, b their license, c proof of registration, d all of the above, d all of the above. When stopped for a traffic violation or at an equipment check, the driver is responsible for producing their license, proof of registration, and proof of insurance. Drivers are required to have all three of these documents in a vehicle when it is being driven. You are involved in an accident and another person is injured. You should a. Move the injured away from the scene immediately. b. Always leave the injured where they are. c. Not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. d. Stay away from the injured. c. Not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. After an accident, do not move the injured unnecessarily. Unskilled handling can make serious injuries out of minor ones. Keep the injured warm until skilled help arrives. If there is severe bleeding, attempt to stop the flow of blood with direct pressure. This sign means A. A left curve is ahead. B. A series of curves is ahead. C. An S curve is ahead. D. The road will be slippery when wet. D. The road will be slippery when wet. This sign warns that especially slippery conditions exist when the road is wet. When may you use hand and arm signals instead of mechanical turn signals? A. During the night. B. During the day. C. When driving a loaded vehicle that blocks your hand signals from other drivers. D. In low visibility situations. B. During the day. During daylight hours, hand and arm signals may be used in addition to or instead of mechanical turn signals. You may not use hand signals at night or while driving a vehicle constructed or loaded so that hand signals are not clearly visible to other drivers. When approaching an uncontrolled intersection, a driver should A. Maintain their speed and proceed. B. Stop at the intersection, check in all directions, and proceed. C. Yield to all other drivers. D. Be prepared to yield. D. Be prepared to yield. At an intersection where there is no stop sign or traffic signal, you should yield to a vehicle approaching the intersection from the right. However, always be prepared to yield to avoid a crash. Do this by taking your foot off the accelerator, covering the brake, and looking left, right, and left again. To safely pass a bicycle, you should A. Honk at the bicyclist to let them know you're trying to pass. B. Drive in the bicycle lane until you get a chance to pass. C. Slow down and give them as much space as possible. D. Rush ahead to pull in front of the bicyclist. C. Slow down and give them as much space as possible. When passing a bicyclist, slow down and give them as much space as you can.
bicyclists have much less protection than drivers of motor vehicles and they should not be crowded. Passing a bicycle too quickly can shift the bicyclist off course. This sign means A. One-way traffic. B. Two-way left turn. C. Two-way traffic. D. Minimum speed limit. A. One-way traffic. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This sign tells drivers the direction in which they must drive when turning onto a one-way street. When approaching a school bus that is stopped on the opposite side of a multi-lane highway separated by a median, drivers a. Must stop and wait for the flashing lights to stop. B. Must stop until the school bus begins moving. C. Must stop until the stop arm is lifted. D. May continue driving. D. May continue driving. When passing a school bus stopped on the opposite side of a multi-lane highway with a median or divider, drivers may continue driving. If the highway is not separated by a median or divider, drivers on both sides of the street must stop. A good rule to remember for passing is A. Pass on the right whenever possible. B. Drive with the flow of traffic and pass only as needed. C. Try to get to the front of any slow moving traffic so that you can see better. D. Always flash your lights and sound your horn to alert other drivers to your intentions. B. Drive with the flow of traffic and pass only as needed. Each time you pass another vehicle, there is an increased chance for a collision. If you are moving faster than surrounding traffic, you will have to continue passing others. Drive with the flow of traffic, within the legal speed limit, and pass only as needed. When parallel parking between two cars, you should first A. Turn your wheels to the left. B. Turn your wheels to the right. C. Pull up even with the car in front of your desired parking space. D. Back slowly. C. Pull up even with the car in front of your desired parking space. After finding a parking space, checking traffic, and signaling, you should stop parallel to the vehicle directly ahead of your desired parking space before turning your wheel to park. When driving in traffic, it is safest to a. Fluctuate your speed to keep alert. b. Drive faster than the flow of traffic. c. Drive slower than the flow of traffic. D. Drive with the flow of traffic. D. Drive with the flow of traffic. Crashes often happen when some drivers go faster or slower than other vehicles on the road. Always try to drive with the flow of traffic, within the posted speed limit. Consuming which of the following substances may impair your ability to drive safely and may result in an arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants DUII. A. Beer, wine, and other liquor. B. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. C. Inhalants, such as glue or paint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. A wide variety of intoxicants can impair your ability to drive. These include all types of alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, inhalants, and many legal medications, both prescription and over-the-counter. It is unlawful to drive alongside a motorcycle in the same lane. A. True. B. False. A. True.
You must never attempt to share a lane with a motorcyclist, even if it looks like there is enough room to do so. Motorcyclists need to have a full lane width to be able to maneuver safely. A bicyclist who doesn't obey traffic laws? A. Is in the right because bicyclists don't have to obey traffic laws. B. Can be ticketed. C. Will always receive a warning from law enforcement. D. Will have their bicycle impounded. B. Can be ticketed. All bicyclists have the same rights, duties, and responsibilities as drivers of motor vehicles. Motorists and bicyclists who do not obey traffic laws can be ticketed. While driving, you come upon a sign displaying the words reduced speed, 35 miles per hour. This means a. That the new 35 miles per hour speed limit begins at this sign. B. That the new 35 miles per hour speed limit begins at the next speed limit sign. C. That you have plenty of time to slow down before the reduced speed zone. D. That you should reduce your speed to 35 miles per hour, but only under poor weather conditions. A. That the new 35 miles per hour speed limit begins at this sign. Reduced speed signs inform drivers that they must reduce their speeds. If a new speed limit is posted on one of these signs, the new speed limit begins at the sign. This sign means that A. A community service group is picking up trash along the highway ahead. B. Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. C. Children are at play ahead. D. There is a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. B. Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. This sign indicates that workers may be on or very close to the roadway ahead, so you should take special care when traveling through the area. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. Two-way left turn. C. Minimum speed limit. D. No parking. A. No U-turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. Wherever this regulation sign is posted, U-turns are not permitted. When using a roundabout, drivers should A. Stop within the roundabout. B. Yield to entering traffic. C. Drive in a clockwise direction. D. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. D. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. A roundabout is a circular intersection that usually does not include a traffic signal and flows in a counterclockwise direction around a central island. Motorists must enter from the right, yield to traffic already in the roundabout, and follow the circle to the right until the desired roadway is reached. Road rage and aggressive driving may be reduced by A. Allowing extra travel time. B. Obeying posted speed limits. C. Using proper turn signals. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. As an increasing number of drivers populate the roadways, road rage becomes more prevalent. To help prevent road rage, a driver should use proper turn signals obey posted speed limits, and allow plenty of travel time. This sign means A. All traffic must turn. B. Turn right at the intersection. C. Parking area ahead. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic.
This sign warns of the presence of a crossroad ahead. Your tire blows out while you are driving. You should a. Slam on your brakes. b. Hold your steering wheel tightly and slow to a stop. c. Keep driving normally. d. Turn on your emergency flashers and continue driving. b. Hold your steering wheel tightly and slow to a stop. If you experience a tire blowout, do not immediately apply the brakes. Grip the steering wheel firmly and steer to remain in your traffic lane. Reduce your speed gradually by releasing the accelerator and staying off the brakes. Once you are moving very slowly, apply the brakes lightly and pull off the road into a safe area. You may only have blue lights, flashing lights, or strobe lights on your vehicle if it is an authorized maintenance or emergency vehicle. A. True. B. False. A. True. Blue lights, flashing lights, and strobe lamps serve special purposes. They are not for use by non-authorized vehicles. A driver can legally pass on the right side of another vehicle? A. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane. B. Even if it means driving off the pavement. C. On a narrow bridge. D. At any time. A. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane. If there is an available passing lane, you may pass on the right of a vehicle or bicycle that is turning left or waiting to turn left. It is also legal to pass on the right when driving on a multi-lane road with two or more lanes traveling in the same direction. You may never drive off the pavement or main traveled portion of the road to pass another vehicle. If your vehicle begins to skid, you should a. overcorrect b. turn your steering wheel into traffic c. Turn your steering wheel in the direction you want to go. D. Release the steering wheel. C. Turn your steering wheel in the direction you want to go. If your vehicle begins to skid, remain calm. Steer in the direction that you want to go and try not to overcorrect. When may you drive above the posted speed limit? A. Never. B. When legally passing another vehicle on a highway with a speed limit of 55 miles per hour or above. C. When there is no police officer present. D. When you are in a hurry. B. When legally passing another vehicle on a highway with a speed limit of 55 miles per hour or above. Driving faster than the posted speed limit is illegal. The posted speed limit is the maximum speed permitted on a particular road. However, the speed limit on a multi-lane highway with a posted speed limit of 55 miles per hour or higher is increased by 10 miles per hour when the driver is lawfully passing another vehicle in the same direction. A driver approaching a flashing red traffic signal must a. Slow down at the light. b. Drive carefully without stopping. c. Merge to the right. d. Stop before entering the intersection. d. Stop before entering the intersection. A flashing red light means that you must stop, yield to traffic and pedestrians, and go only when it is safe. At a railroad crossing, a flashing red light indicates that a train is approaching. Yield to the train, and go only when the lights have stopped flashing and all other active warning devices deactivate. If a traffic light shows both a red light and a green arrow, a driver may not turn in the direction of the arrow until the red light has changed. A. True. B. False.
b false after yielding the right of way to traffic within an intersection or crosswalk a driver may go in the direction a green arrow is pointing regardless of other lights present You are more likely to survive a car crash if you use lap and shoulder belts together. A. True. B. False. A. True. The lap belt should be adjusted to fit snugly across your hip bones or upper thighs. The shoulder belt should be fitted snugly across the chest and middle of the shoulder. If the seat belt is positioned correctly, it is much less likely to contribute to injuries in the event of a crash. When in a travel lane on the roadway. A. You may stop to drop off passengers. B. You may stop to look up an address. C. You may make a U-turn or back up if you get on the wrong entrance ramp of the freeway. D. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. When changing lanes, you should A. Rely on your mirrors. B. Begin signaling as you move into the next lane. C. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. D. Always check your blind spot. D. Always check your blind spot. Other cars and motorcycles are often hidden in a vehicle's blind spot, so be sure to glance over your shoulder before you begin a lane change. Begin signaling 100 feet before changing lanes or turning in a residential area. Signal 5 seconds in advance when changing lanes on a freeway. This road sign means A. Cars in right lane must slow down. B. No left turn. C. Merge. D. Pass only in the right lane. C. Merge. This sign indicates a merge ahead. It warns that two lanes of traffic moving in the same direction are about to become one.